Hello Year 4, welcome back to week 4. Um, this week our main focus is going to be division. Um, so, just to start us off, we're going to recap some of the vocabulary, um, just make sure we remember. So we've got the divisor, which is the number that you are dividing by. The dividend, which is the number that you are dividing. Um, and then your answer is the quotient. Okay, um, so before I start off with some calculations, I'm just going to remind us um, of the process that we need to remember when dividing um, a number. So, uh, the way my class will have done it is by remembering um, daddy, mummy, sister and brother, which each letter stands for the process. So, the first process that we would need to do is divide. After we divide, we multiply. After we multiply, we subtract. And after that, we bring it down. Once we've brought it down, we would then repeat. So, to put that into practice, first calculation we're going to have a look at is 52 divided by 2. So, 52 is my dividend, and I'm dividing that by 2. So first thing I'm going to do is look at my tens. So I've got five tens and I'm going to follow step one, which is divide. So I'm going to divide five tens by two, which is two. And I'm going to put that in my quotient. I'm then going to go to step two, which is multiply. So I'm going to multiply what I've got for the quotient by the divisor. So I'm going to do two times two, which is four. Pop that underneath. Step three, I then subtract. So five tens subtract four tens is one ten. So I pop that there. And then step four is bring it down. So my next number is my two ones. So my two ones I then bring down so that I've got 12. I then look at the 12. That's what I've got left for my dividend. So then I'm going to do 12 divided by two. Back up at step one. So 12 divided by two is six. Multiply, 6 times 2 is 12, subtract, 12 take away 12 is 0. So that means that the answer to 52 divided by 2 is 26 and there are no remainders left. So let's look at question number 2, which is now looking at a three digit number. So we've got 525 divided by 3. So first of all, I'm going to look at my hundreds, and I'm going to start with step one. Five divided by three. How many times does three go into five? That will be once. Step two, I do one times three, which is three. Subtract. Five, take away three is two. And then I bring it down, so I bring down the next number. So I've got a two there, so I bring the two down. So now I've got 22. So now, I'm going to do 22 divided by 3, so I'm going to think how many times does 3 go into 22, and that will be 7. Then back to step 2, multiply, so then I'm going to do 7 times 3, which is 21. Next step, subtract. 22 take away 21 is 1. And then final step, bring it down, so then I've got 5, which I'm going to bring down. So now I've got 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. To finish it off, 15, oh, sorry, 5 times 3 is 15. Running out of space. Subtract gives me the answer of 525 with no remainder. Right, final question I'm going to model for you today, before you guys have a go, is 579 divided by 2. So starting from my hundreds again, five divided by two is two. Next step, multiply two times two is four. Step three, subtract. Five take away four is one. And then bring down my tens. So now I've got 17 divided by two. How many twos go into 17 is eight. Eight times two is 16. Subtract. 17 take away 16 is 1, bring down the 9. Back up to the top, so step 1, I'm going to do 19 divided by 2. How many 2 is going to 19 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Subtract that, 
So 19, take away 18 is one, which means that I do have a remainder. So the answer or the quotient is 289, remainder one. Right, now that I've shown you those, it's going to be your turn. So I've given you here four questions to have a go at home. Um, check in tomorrow for the answers.